Greetings, Internet. This is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we are doing a comparison for you between two fantastic guitars from Yamaha, the A3M, and from Taylor, the 114CE. We're doing this to help you answer the question. If you were digging through your couch cushions the other day and found about 800 bucks, first of all, you should use a wallet and you keep way too much cash in your gym shorts. But second of all, how, which of these instruments would you buy with that money? They cost roughly about the same, and they are aimed at a particular musician, but they have some differences that could make one more compelling to you than the other. Let's start with the Taylor, because this has been a perennial favorite for a long, long time. The 100 series offers a lot of value in the Taylor lineup. It has the Taylor playability, which really is difficult to surpass, and Taylor's signature sound, a lot of articulation and resonance from the instrument. Now, it features a solid Sitka spruce top with scallop bracing and layered walnut back and sides. Um, layered means that it's not solid wood. Okay, so it's like a laminate, but we're going to say layered because it's actually real wood. And each one of these is a little different. It's going to have different grain. It's really pretty. Ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard, and Taylor's ES2 pickup system are on board. You also get a fantastic gig-friendly gig bag. That's why we call it a gig bag that you can throw over your back, and it helps protect the guitar very, very well. All in all, this is a fantastic guitar for the money. Playability is there. The sound is there acoustically and plugged in. It's really a fantastic option. However, we also have Yamaha's A3M, and the A3M offers a compelling option to the Taylor. Now, whereas Taylor is built in North America, this particular option south of the border in Mexico, this one is built overseas in Yamaha's China factory. By doing so, they're able to bring us, at this price point, an all-solid wood guitar. That means it's solid top, back, and sides. The top has scallop bracing like the Taylor does, but it also has ARE treatment, which is basically Yamaha's torrefaction process. Now, you might have heard this term. Torrefying basically means that you are heat treating the wood to open it up. Taylor is using a similar process on their 600 series, and more and more higher end builders are using it in order to open up the top of the guitars and make them more resonant straight out of the box. Yamaha is doing that at this price point on this guitar with all solid wood. It's more resonant. It gives a lovely hue to the top as well. It also has Yamaha's proprietary SRT pickup, which has an undersaddle pickup, very simple controls here on the side that are unobtrusive, and the option to blend the undersaddle pickup sound, sound with a microphone sound. The microphone is modeled on a ribbon mic, very high-end Neumann or Royer mic, um, and it gives you really fantastic plugged-in sound on the stage so that you can sound like you're in the studio with a nice high-end acoustic guitar. Um, so really a fantastic option here. It also comes with a hard bag um, that's ready to go at, to the gig with you. And the necks are very similar. The nut width is roughly the same. They're both satin finished. They both have excellent playability. The neck on the uh, Yamaha is a little thicker. It's kind of more of a fat C, whereas the Taylor has more of a low profile, uh, low oval, even with kind of a almost really, really, really soft V to it. Uh, but they both play really well, so the difference in preference is really going to come down to your left hand. All in all, compelling options for sub $1,000. It just simply comes down to, are you more compelled to pay for this, which is a North American built tailor with fantastic playability, resonance, articulation, and a proven pickup? or a Yamaha, which by being built across the seas for us, gives us this price point with all solid wood construction, torrefaction, and the mic blending option. So to help you with that, we are going to play both of these guitars and let you hear the differences for yourself. Check it out.
Hey, thanks so much for watching the videos we put out on YouTube. We make these with the goal of helping you find the right instrument to suit your needs, to find the perfect fit so that you find the right guitar and bring many years of joy. We believe strongly that if you play a note, it can change your life. But if you're shopping for a guitar right now, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of choices that are available. Should you get an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a classical guitar? Which features matter? price points, things like that. It can be overwhelming. And for that reason, I've written a guitar buyer's guide called Don't Get a Good Deal on the Wrong Guitar. Follow the link below to download this very comprehensive guide that will talk about every aspect that you should be paying attention to when it comes to purchasing a new guitar. If you ever have questions or need help, go to our website, alamomusic.com. We're here to help. Thanks. Mm -hmm.